For nearly 40 years, thousands of trains have travelled over these rails, until this weekend when they were entirely replaced. In this hole is usually Dallam Junction, just north of Warrington Bank Quay. But over the bank holiday, two switches and crossings, or crossovers, were ripped out and replaced. They're the rails which allow trains to switch lines. Yet installing new ones is complex and it's a race against the clock with just three days and nights to do it. This site has been in development for over two years where we've been fully working with our CRSA partners. Uh, Balfour Beat, Atkins and TSO. Uh, we've been on a big complicated journey to do the design, the scoping, uh, delivery methodologies, delivery plans. This junction was last renewed in 1986, so it's given us 40 years of great service. We've got a lot of machines here, we've got trains in and out as you can see. Uh, it's quite a tight site, um, so the planning is critical. We've had to get all the, you know, the planning done for the trains to be coming in, the machines. This weekend was part one of the project, with teams returning again in two weeks' time over the late May bank holiday. That will see the other two of four crossovers replaced, rinse and repeat style. It does mean the route will be closed once again to trains, so the advice is to plan your journey in advance at National Rail Inquiries. So I would just like to thank our passengers, both um, passengers and freight users, to thank them for the patience in understanding why we need to deliver this type of work and the benefit ultimately that it will bring. So we will deliver more reliable, robust and resilient railway. All essential work to provide smoother journeys for passengers and freight as part of our ongoing investment into the West Coast mainline.